Well, it is officially early. Barely clicked over into the AM. Got a Ford. <laughs> we can leave that one in Nampa, Idaho, which is where we're headed. It's about 500 plus miles. Well, I guess that's equivalent to driving all through the night. You're almost to Idaho. You ever? Never, ever, ever, ever never. Oregon. You're in Oregon right now. Oh yeah. Still in Oregon, having some issues with the old pump here. Tried to steal my card, I didn't know that was a thing. Somewhere up the road there is Idaho. 19 degrees, there's a guy in a t-shirt across the street. first cracker barrel experience right there now we're filled up with food let's go destroy the bank account he got his whiskey bottle right there here's the door guest parking <laughs> oh man oh man <laughs> It looks sick. Dang. Uh, little skip pan on your gas tank? Oh, we gotta turn the knob. That's where your death tank keep the skid pan. Come on, Hossie Endo. What you think, Hoss? You finally got one that's red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Double whammy. <laughs> that is such a hardcore red. Oh, they got them locked. Don't, don't they know? You guys can get in the shot if you want. It's certified clean exhaust. <laughs> you just throw that on the floor or put it in your cup holder and hit the button with the brake pedal. Oh, you ain't got power. I saw that it revved all the way to five grand. Phone jack plug-ins down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice regular cab. Give her, give her a little goose chasing that car down right there. Kind of light back there though. <laughs> oh. As soon as you touch the brake. Um. Which you, way you want me to go here? You go out that way. Then we'll just flip a U down there for Subaru. Oh. That's a <laughs> it is stiff. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a doozy of a ride. So you're good sixteen thousand pounds on the truck. Not on the truck, but gross, so. They ain't getting no business today. Oh yeah, look at that tight turning radius there. Not even a cul-de-sac and flipped it in a three lane. Oh, this is gonna be a rough ride home with no bed. He's got four miles more on his truck than I got on mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna go look for his. I'm gonna go check his build sheet. So just on okay. I didn't remember or not. I remember they got it on mine, but I was like, I figured I'll add it to his, but no worries. Yeah, we'll check. 
We'll figure it out. Alright. Alright, Haas, let's see if mine does it. You got red seat belts. Yeah, you were supposed to get them too. <laughs> see, Haas, mine goes all, all the way up. Mine's got these too. Look at the mirrors. What? Well, maybe or not. What's this? What is these buttons? There's so many buttons. You got more? What does that do? I think these are leather and this is like suede or something. Oh, I got power little mirror? Oh. Oh, whoa. What? Up and down or just? No, the little mirror. In and out. That's neat. It's always. That's cool. It doesn't have the power fold, so crap. How did I not get that option? Because it was another grand, that's why. Was it? Yeah. yeah the mile, the range on this truck, uh, 740 miles with my red seat belts. I didn't notice the pulling was full. <laughs> <laughs> they almost look fake. Like, I don't know what to think about them. I wanted the red truck, didn't want it. Went with the uh, red seat belts instead, though. This is a this is a limo of a, a hood. This is this is long. Why is is that not working? Sirius XM out. Turn on. Scared me. It's a rough ride. <laughs> Sixteen miles a gallon. Oh, got you. What is this? Pitch and roll. Why do I have that? Gasoline. Tell me how tilted the truck is. I just want to know what my tire pressure is, guy. <laughs> yeah. Definitely go kart mode. Light as it'll ever be. Yeah, we'll go get them weighed right now and then give this weight to DMV. They got right on the thing. Okay, the bed, it's about. Did you just tell them it's a flat bed. The Waymaster. It's like a rotary. It gets caught oh. flying even quicker. Got out to the freeway here. Crap. Do I just go straight across? It's the only red one here that's flame cherry red. And the only other car is a freaking Hellcat that's red. <laughs> it's not the same color. It's, I, think, I think it's the same color. Okay. Man, this is a big <laughs> truck. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll trade you. I'll drive yours more than you will. Come on, seatbelt. Back into it. That was expensive. Weirdest chain of events to find deals is one thing but trying to find actual somebody that's willing to call back and help you out my boy evan here from nampa idaho everybody was asking where i was going for these new trucks peterson chrysler stampede the acronyms some petersonramjeep.com or worktrucks.petersonramjeep.com so in short versus buying in california and a list of other dealers that didn't want to call back say 10 grand per truck no joke so thank you very much on that. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys need truck. And by the way, he gave a pretty good lead time on it, which I wasn't concerned about. He said five, six months. I don't yeah, know. I didn't six. need the truck anytime soon, but I figured why not order it now and save some money, you know, because price is always going up. He had them in three months. The other one was in two months. So much appreciated. Thank yes, you. Of course. Thank you. It's cool coming up here and the weather's not brutal. So. Yeah, it's kind of fun up here. <laughs> yeah. All farmlands and stuff coming in. Everything's all green. I was like... Glad it's not all covered in snow. Yep. Oh. Sound like a good take? Absolutely. Video worthy? Mm -hmm. Shoe buddy! Oh, ho, ho. Need to get me one of them. Wait a second. Oh, I got both of them. Come on. 
finally gonna go we got an airbnb we can go over there and snag some billow time awesome time coming up here made quick work of the drive thanks again to my boy evan in here peterson chrysler dodge jeep ram oh the next one Easy route on these last couple trips that we've made is getting an Airbnb for a day or two or however you can be in town because they're just so much more convenient and you can just slide right on into them. This one, that's a meat locker. That's the front door dust kicker off area. This house, it's not even really that like cold outside, but it is freezing in here. And yeah, I don't know. Anyway, updating my English language knowledge, listening to old vice grip. We'll be heading out here in about five hours so now six sure <laughs> let's be honest it's gonna happen just get it done good boy how are there so many mosquitoes out right now there are three of them just took out my left arm and there's my back anyway back to the video suffer on okay there it is finally oh my gosh like i've I probably built this truck a hundred times on the Ram, Ram website and to see it in person is a treat by itself. To see it go from cartoon to truck in person is awesome. I wanted, you know, a combination between my 3500 and my 5500 and how you get that is you just get a 5500 Laramie trim package and slightly taller gear ratio. Boom, boom. There it is. But I want to say thank you guys very much for watching my videos because moments like this you know obviously got a day job work a lot of hours but to, you know i set my youtube money aside and you know every once in a while i'll take a little bit of it out of there and boom there we go thank you guys very much for that even bought my dad's truck too that was an expensive trip it was way better than buying it local though because anywhere in california they wanted ten thousand bucks more per truck than what we did up in idaho so that was worth the 500 mile drive would we leave late Thursday night? No, early. Like barely Friday morning. Got up there around 10 a.m. I think after test driving both trucks and that Ford. That was a funny video. Uh, I think we were out of there about 11.30, hour and a half. You know, just dropped the money down, signed some paperwork. Did not get the extended warranty because I don't, I don't put that many miles on stuff. And I didn't use the extended warranty on my 3500. Knock on wood, it's still going good. But, you know, for this one... I can always add an extended warranty on it. It's going to stay stock underneath the hood. I don't care to mess with that. Uh, I got a little treat on the back I'll show you guys. But again, thank you guys very much. And if you guys are in the market for one of these trucks, hit up Peterson Ram. Talk to my buddy Evan up there. Literally, like that was a very painless experience going up there. It just got it done. Truck showed up three months after I placed the order. They told me about four or five, maybe six months. And my dad was actually only two months before his showed up. So like, that's a pretty quick turnaround time and i mean it's custom order truck i'm not going to say numbers or anything like that but this truck um it's cheaper than what people offered me used trucks for across the board you know like three four five year old trucks this one's cheaper than it even after i paid taxes and the flatbed so let's go back here and i'll show you guys a couple things i just want to show you guys yep the flatbed's on it we got back that's who picked the truck trucks up friday stayed the night up there and then drove back saturday i have a whole bunch of videos on the whole driving back and experience with dads and everything so we got back saturday i threw this thing down the shop started doing some reinforcements underneath it had the bed on there about sunday midday somewhere along those lines um i'm gonna add toolboxes and stuff underneath the back i don't know if the fuel tank idea is going to work out but i'm pretty happy with how this whole thing's going this right here is pretty neat to see that going along the lines with the 5500 they got the alcoa's factory on there paint match fender flares and this is where i'm going to ask you guys for a little bit of help now on my other truck i went ahead and did a full front bumper replacement <sighs> you know i'd like to do that but at the end of the day i don't really want to do that so i'm going to ask you guys is you know if you have one of these trucks that's got just a cattle guard thing across the front send me a link to it i got a couple options i'm looking at same thing with my dad's truck we're going to get something on there because this is you know a pretty dang healthy investment got another video i'll give you a little hint on but the both the trucks paid um <laughs> the value of both of these trucks what i paid for them 
is equivalent to 70 12 valves for today's like general going to town prices so there's the flatbeds on it i got a whole video installing this and all that but anyway we're gonna end it there thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next one later on